Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you what you need to do with your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to prepare for iOS 9. Let's get started. So if you're running a device that is compatible with iOS 9, what you want to do first is go through all your applications and find the ones that you don't use and delete them. This is going to free up space. Even though iOS 9 doesn't need as much space as iOS 8 did, chances are if you're running a 16 gigabyte device, it's going to need a little bit of extra space. So go through your applications, delete the ones you don't use. Step two would be to manage your photos and videos because they are very important to a lot of people and they take up a lot of space. So we'll tap on settings, we will tap general, we'll tap on usage, and from here we'll tap on manage storage. Now like me, my videos, photos take up the most space here. You can see 1.3 gigabytes. So I'm gonna want to transfer them over or delete the ones I don't want. And what you do is simply go back, open up your photos application here, and you can select all of them and delete the ones you don't want this way. If you do, just make sure that you go back in this recently deleted section, you go in there and remove them completely. Otherwise, you're not really removing anything. Now you can transfer these over using iTunes, using your computer, using iCloud, whatever you'd like to do, but my personal preference is to use AirDrop. Now to have AirDrop set up, you just wanna make sure that this is on here. You do have a few settings in your control center. If you haven't set it up, there's a video that you can check out. The little card up top will take you there and it'll show you how to set up AirDrop. But once you've set it up, all you do is select the photo you want tap on the share button here and it should pop up right here with my MacBook. Now I can send these photos to my Mac just by tapping on that. If I just tap cancel, you can send multiple photos tapping select up top. So if I wanted to send all of these to my Mac, now I can go ahead and tap the share button. That'll pop up. If I tap on it, you now see it says sent down here and on my Mac, I've received those six photos. The next step is a very important one. You should be doing this regularly. This involves backing up your device either via iTunes or through iCloud. So the iCloud setting is here. Tap on settings, scroll down to where it says iCloud. I'm just gonna block my email here. So you can see iCloud down there, tap on that. It'll take you to the iCloud settings here and you can select all the things you want to back up to iCloud. Now you can see I have 4.6 gigabytes available to me and you get five gigabytes free. If you wanna buy more storage, you can. This way it's just a little bit easier to always back things up, but you can choose to back it up this way. If you do back up your photos, chances are you'll fill this storage. If not, you can back up everything else through iCloud and it's just quicker that way. Now, if you don't wanna use this method, you can use the iTunes method, which works like this. First, connect your lightning cable to your iPhone and the other end to your computer. Now, once you've connected your device to the computer, it should automatically open up iTunes. If it doesn't, look for it on your computer, open up iTunes. If you haven't installed iTunes ever, what you wanna do is go to apple.com slash iTunes and you wanna download iTunes from there. This works with Windows, Mac, so you should be good to go. Go. Once you've done that, open it up, you'll be brought to iTunes and what you want to do is click on the little logo up here, either an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Click on that, it'll take you to this page where you can see it says backups, options. Now, what you'll see up top is the current version of iOS you're using and what you want to do is simply back up your device right here. You can set up the settings at a later time to automatically back up to iCloud to the computer. I like to back it up to my computer, this way it's stored on the computer and I can access it when I need it. So we'll go ahead and click backup now. It'll say there are apps on the iPhone 6 which are not in your iTunes library. Would you like to back these up? You can choose to do this or not. I'll just say backup apps, yes. I usually like to back as much as I can up. So as it backs up, you can see up top, it's backing everything up. It might take longer, it might take shorter. Now it's copying the applications, it's transferring the purchases. This is just the best way to ensure that the install runs smoothly. Now for those of you who are looking to install iOS 9, there will be two videos, one showing you how to update the iPhone and one showing you how to update the iPhone iPad and one method will be through iTunes and one will be through the actual device itself. I personally like the iTunes method. It's a little bit safer, but stay tuned for those videos and the link will be in the description for those. So this is what you have to do to prepare for iOS 9. Make sure you follow all of these tips to give yourself the best chance of a successful iOS 9 update and to be notified when I post the actual update videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There will also be a link in the description down below to show you how to update to iOS 9 with your iPhone or iPad and how to do it through iTunes just in case that method doesn't work because it's not always the most reliable. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one.